is NVIDIA is in the best place. The higher the derivative is, the sooner the market's going to be bigger and expanding. And NVIDIA is the only one that does yeah, everything reliably right now. Because it's not like an NVIDIA competitor arose. It's it's another company that's using NVIDIA. Who so, historically has been a large NVIDIA customer. Yeah. <laughs> as, and has <laughs> press releases about them cheering about being China's biggest NVIDIA customer, right? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean... It may, it, obviously, they've quieted down, but like, I, I think that's like another element of it is that they don't want to say how many GPUs they have. Yeah. Because, hey, they yes, they have H800s. Yes, they have H20s. They also have some H100s, right? Which so, are smuggled in. Can you speak to that, to the smuggling... What's the scale of smuggling that's feasible for a nation state to do for companies? Is it possible to? I think I think there's a few angles of smuggling here, right? One is ByteDance arguably is the largest smuggler of GPUs for China, right? China's not supposed to have GPUs. ByteDance has like over 500,000 GPUs. Why? Because they're all rented from companies around the world. They rent from Oracle. They rent from Google. They rent from all these mass and, and a bunch of smaller cloud companies too, right? All the neo clouds, right, of the world. They rent so, so many GPUs. They also buy a bunch, right? And and they do this for mostly like what Meta does, right? Serving TikTok, right? Serving next best. Right? <laughs> Separate same discussion. As, same, as, same as Meta, right? To be clear, <laughs> yeah. that's today the view, use, right? And yeah. it's a valid use, right? Hack the dopamine circuit, right? Um, now, that's that's theoretically now very much restricted with the AI diffusion rules, which happened in the last week of the Biden admin and uh, Trump admin looks like they're going to keep them, which limits like allies, even like Singapore, um, which Singapore is like 20% of NVIDIA's 20, 20, 30% of NVIDIA's revenue. But uh, Singapore's had a memoratorium on not building data centers for like 15 years because they don't have enough power. So where are they going? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> um, I mean, I'm not claiming they're all going to China, right? But a portion are, you know, many are going to Malaysia, um, including Microsoft and Oracle have big data centers in Malaysia. Like, you know, all, they're going all over Southeast Asia, probably India as well, right? Like there's stuff routing, but like the diffusion rules are very de facto. Like you can only buy this many GPUs from this country and it's, and you can only rent a cluster this large to companies that are Chinese, right? Like they're very explicit on trying to stop smuggling, right? And a big chunk of it was, hey, let's, let's you know, random company buy 16 servers, ship them to uh, to, to China, right? Um, there's actually, I, I saw a photo from someone uh, in the semiconductor industry who's an, who's an, who leads like a, a, a team for like networking chips uh, that competes with NVIDIA. And he sent a photo of a guy checking into a first class United flight from San Francisco to, sh to Shanghai or Shenzhen with a, a super micro box that was this big, <laughs> which can only contain GPUs, right? And he was booking first class because think about it, three to 5K for your first class ticket, Server cost, you know, 240000 in the US, 250000 You sell it for 300000 in China. Wait, you just got a free first class ticket yeah. and a lot more money. So it's like, Brilliant. you know, and, and, and that's like small scale smuggling. Most of the large scale smuggling is like companies in Singapore and Malaysia, like routing them around or renting GPUs uh, completely uh, legally. I, I want to jump in. How much is the scale? I think there's been some number, like some people that are higher level economics understanding say that it's like as you go from 1 billion of smuggling to 10 billion it's like you're hiding certain levels of economic activity and that's the most reasonable thing to me is that there's going to be some level where it's so obvious that it's easier to find this economic activity and yeah so 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 my 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 belief is that last year roughly uh, so, so NVIDIA made a million H20s, which are legally allowed to be shipped to China, which we talked about is better for reasoning, right? Inference, at least. Um, not Maybe not tra not training, but reasoning inference um, and inference generally. Then they also had, you know, a couple hundred thousand, we think like 200 to 300,000 GPUs were routed to China from, you know, Singapore, Malaysia, US, wherever. Companies spawn up by 16 GPUs, 64 GPUs, whatever it is, route it. And Huawei is known for having spent up a massive network of like companies to get the materials they need after they were banned in like 2018. So it's not like otherworldly. Uh, but I agree, right? Nathan's point is like, hey, you can't smuggle up $10 billion of GPUs. Uh, and then the third sort of source, which is just now banned and, you know, which wasn't considered smuggling, but is China is renting, like, is, I, 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 believe from our research, right, Oracle's biggest GPU customer is ByteDance, right? And 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 for Google, I think it's their second biggest customer, right? And so like, and you go down the list of clouds and especially these smaller cloud companies that aren't like the hyperscalers, right? Um, think beyond Core, even Lambda, even there's a whole C, there's 60 different new cloud companies serving NVIDIA GPUs. I think ByteDance is renting a lot of these, right? Um, all over it, right? And so these companies are renting GPUs to Chinese companies, and that's completely that was completely legal 
up until the diffusion rules, which happened just a few weeks ago. And even now you can rent GPU clusters that are less than 2000 GPUs, or you can buy GPUs and ship them wherever you want if you're if they're less than 1500 GPUs, right? So it's like, there are still like some ways to smuggle, but yeah, it's not, you know, as the numbers grow, right? Uh, you know, a hundred something billion dollars of revenue for NVIDIA last year, 200 something billion this year, right? And if next year are, you know, it, 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 could, it could it could nearly double again or more than double, right? Based on like what we see with data center footprints like being built out all across the US and the rest of the world, it's going to be really hard for China to keep up with these rules, right? Yes, there will always be smuggling um, and deep seek level models of GPT-4 level models, uh, O1 level models capable to train on what China can get even the next year above that. But if we speed run a couple more, you know, jumps, right, you know, to billion dollar models, $10 billion models, then it becomes, you know, hey, there is a compute disadvantage for China for training models and serving them. And and the, the serving part is really critical, right? DeepSeek cannot serve their model today, right? It's it's completely out of inventory. Uh, it's already started falling in the app store, actually, downloads, because you download it, you try and sign up, they say we're not taking registrations because they have no capacity, right? You open it up, you get like less than two, five tokens per second if you even get your request approved, right? Because there's just no capacity because they just don't have enough GPUs to serve the model, even though it's incredibly efficient. It would be fascinating to watch the smuggling because I mean, there's drug smuggling, right? That's a that's a market. There's weapons smuggling, and GPUs will surpass that at some point. Chips are highest value per kilogram, probably by far. <laughs> um, uh, 